So we're here at Constellation Beach in West Seattle looking for moon snails. These snails like a nice sandy beach because they dig down under the sand to look for their favorite food, which is clams. So a moon snail itself is actually quite hard to find, but there are lots of signs of moon snails that you can find around on the beaches. And so here's one clam shell that has been preyed on by a moon snail. The moon snail drills down into the clam shell and it basically sucks out the clam um, over a number of hours. And here's a good pile of the egg collars that the moon snails make. As they sit, they start to disintegrate, and that's what they're supposed to do. And as it disintegrates, the eggs are released out into the water, and hopefully to create new little moon snails. They try to go down when the water goes out, so we'll be, have better luck finding them down, or down lower. Here's one. So I think what we have here is a moon snail actually laying eggs. So most of it's under, under the sand, but this little bit, it's attached. That is so cool. It was moving, you can see it moving. So this, we've very incredibly found a moon snail actually laying eggs. This is the moon snail's body, this is its foot. And it's like a silky texture. So apparently, I, I've never seen them actually lay eggs. Apparently when they are laying eggs, they kind of flip up because we obviously saw the foot and then when it was done, it started to rotate and the shell was back on the top again. And now that it's all done, it's starting, it righted itself and now it's starting to dig back down into the sand again. In Seattle, we, we're just ridiculously lucky because we have so many different habitats from forests to wetlands to the beach and we can have a sighting of an orca one day, we can have octopus, we can have nudibranchs. There's just so much to discover and, and it's just so much fun. 